Okay, good afternoon everyone. So I'm going to uh, read and explain the student book today. So open your student book to page 64. Page 64, soil and water. So remember last week we wrote notes about the experiment about how, uh, which soil lets water drain through easily. Uh, what, how does the water drain through to different soils? Okay, we did, we uh, wrote down about that experiment. So I'm going to read this. Let's, let's uh, see and get your highlighters ready. Okay, soil and water, your challenge, find out which soil drains the quickest. That means which soil allows water to pass through quickly. Alright, what to do? Decide what to measure and how to record your results. Here's what Tariq did. What do you think? Tariq made some funnels from empty pop bottles. I showed you this uh, last week in the... Uh, Google Meet, okay? He lined them with soft paper and then filled each funnel with different types of soil. He used sand, clay, gravel from his fish tank and some potting compost. He also tested the soil from his garden. He measured water and poured the same amount in each funnel. He watched to see which soil the water drained through the fastest. So what you need is Funnels or the tops of pop bottle. Pop bottle means coke bottles or uh, fizzy drink bottles. Okay, different soils or sand, clay, compost mixtures, ruler, measuring jug, a second timer, and soft uh, paper. So, what to check? All right. Before that, let me read the speech bubble bubbles. I have to plant these seeds in well-drained soil. What does that mean? Well, plants won't grow properly if the soil is too wet. You must plant them where the heavy rain will drain away. Will drain away. Now, soil uh, plants need certain amount of water. If there is too much water in the plant, the plant will die. Sometimes, if there is too little water, also the plant will die. So, which soil allows? the water to drain through and to retain so that the plant can grow properly with the right amount of water. So let's look at that. What to check? Now try it yourself. What will you measure? Will you repeat the experiment? Why is, it a, is this a good idea? How will you record your mixtures and how will you keep the test fair? Okay, things to do. Tariq recorded how long it took for the water to drain through. Tariq stopped timing when the water stopped dripping. How is the, here is the table of his results. So if you look, he took five different types of soil. He took sand, he took clay, he took compost, gravel and garden soil. Okay. Now compost and uh, garden soil is nearly the same okay it's the same thing all right so in our experiment which we wrote we only took garden soil we didn't take compost okay now Tariq found that the gravel was the most permeable material now permeable means when it allows water to drain through easily that means there are large gaps or spaces in the soil or in the uh, gravel so that the water can pass through very easily. So gravel is the most permeable means things can pass through very easily. When I say things it normally means liquid okay and the clay was the most impermeable. Impermeable means it does not allow the water or the liquid to pass through easily. Now remember clay is very sticky okay it's very sticky it won't let water pass through easily. It will take a very long time for water to drain through it. Okay. Now make a chart of your own or Tariq's results. You can use a computer program to help you. Which of your soil was most permeable? Which drains the slowest? Can you do better? How good is your evidence? What would you do differently if you did this experiment again? 
How useful do you think Tariq's results are? Now, Tariq found out that the water drained fastest through gravel, but he decided not to plant the seeds in gravel. Why do you think that was? Now, if he plants his seed in gravel, number one, the water will not retain. Plants need to have a little bit of water in the soil so that they keep taking the water and letting it grow, let the plant grow. If there is no water at all, the plant is going to die. So the water drains through very fast. That means there's nothing remaining or nothing being held in the soil for it to, for the plant to take up and to use it. So that's why gravel is not suitable. What sort of soil would you tell him to use and why? So normally the best soil to use for growing uh, plants is the garden soil. The garden soil allows water to drain through. That means if there is too much water, in case there is too much rain, the water will drain through at a good speed and will also be enough, just enough for the plant to use or the plant to uh, grow. Okay, so here we have got two new words, permeable, please highlight permeable and impermeable. So as I told you, permeable is which allows water to drain through or uh, liquid to drain through. Impermeable means it does not allow the liquid to drain through or pass through. Drain through means pass through. Okay, it gets stuck, the water gets stuck. So if it's clay soil, the water will remain on top. It won't go through, it won't pass through at the bottom. Whereas with gravel, it just passes through very fast. Okay, all right. So this is the last topic of rocks and soil. So uh, next week, we will do the summary. Okay.